it's rare that two cultures and places so separate geographically and just about in every other respect get to actually directly communicate. Well, I think it went great. Uh, somehow they knew what Facebook was, they knew what tennis was, they just seemed much more normal than I think, and, and much more similar to us than I would have expected. Uh, and I mean, being able to talk to them directly, it's so easy to relate to someone so different, and I think that that's the greatest thing I've learned from this project. My favorite part was probably uh, when they asked Danielle whether she could cook. Just, what, what I learned the most from was actually when the Marines came and gave a presentation on the region and talked to per one about what their experience had been on the ground in the town. And you, it, it's so much less filtered than it is when you get it through a video on some media channel or read some op-ed in the New York Times. To get someone who's actually been there talking to you about what they did, uh, talking about you know how excited the people are to go to school. Uh, I didn't know that people always ask for pencils. I just find that fascinating. That says so much about a culture that whenever you go around, people just ask for pencils. It was a great experience, very interesting, and a rare opportunity. And I really hope that more people around the United States get an opportunity to partake in something that wonderful. Never expected us to have so much interaction, uh, like peer to peer. And that was like the best part of the whole thing. They were pretty similar to like the students here in the States and I was surprised they knew so much about like technology and everything like that. Um, my favorite part was just when we got to talk to them um, and just hear like about their everyday lives and what they do. <laughs> the funniest part was probably when he asked me if I cooked, <laughs> but that was pretty funny. Like, yeah, I think it's a really amazing thing to do and to just interact with somebody who's like halfway across the world. Uh, I thought that was really amazing and just to, um, to see the similarities between that was amazing. I would definitely do it again. And I was really interested to hear how, how much they really want education and, and how much this means to them. It was really amazing to see what, the impact you can actually make by um, you know, um, like just donating school supplies or having a video conference and, um, and talking to these kids. What surprised me was that I knew that they had probably a lot of siblings, but it's still hard for me to wrap my head around having eight or nine siblings because I'm an only child, so that was pretty astonishing to me. I, one of my favorite parts was just la, talking to the generals about their experiences with the kids. I, know, I think my idea of Marines, you know, very strict and everything, but they were really nice to everybody, really relaxed. They really enjoyed talking about what they were doing there, and it just it just really sounded like they're really passionate about being there and helping the kids. I thought it was great. I, it, it was a lot smoother than I thought it would be for the, all the t computers and the pictures. And the kids, the kids from the games, just the Afghan kids, they really grilled Danielle for the questions about everything. And so that was fun to watch. The funniest thing, okay, one of the kids asked Danielle, what was her rank in the class, and then can you cook? I learned a lot about Afghanistan, and it's really good to know if your country has extensive dealings with another country in the way we have Afghanistan. It's good for the next generation to be able to understand what happened and how we're trying to improve the situation. In this global world we're having now, and it's becoming smaller and smaller by like the day, it's good for students to engage with other people around the world. De definitely, I would do it again. Schooling. I, I was pleasantly surprised to see how well America is really trying to help the next generation of Afghans to educate themselves and elevate them, their standards of life. The advice I would give to other students is come with an open mind, don't come with any expectations because you're going to be surprised. Those kids are really intelligent and they really know their stuff and I was happy to see that.